My fellow Jamaicans, good evening. Our nation is currently battling the most challenging threat we have faced since our independence. It has forced us to find innovative ways to survive and in many cases brought us closer together. The pandemic has brought significant change to our education system, exposed risks and unveiled opportunities that we must take advantage of. We are a resilient people, and this resilience is being demonstrated by the unifying approach towards securing the education of our children. We commend the work of our teachers and school administrators, many of whom have made personal sacrifices to ensure their students don't lose out. We must welcome the positive energy of our children in once again being engaged with their teachers and peers, while at the same time give support to each other to ensure we can secure for them a better future. We must work with our parents, administrators, teachers, and support staff as we seek to overcome this great challenge. Despite the challenges, our skilled and devoted teachers and principals have already planned and prepared for our children. We are grateful to the cadre of educators we have across the country who are making every effort to ensure that this generation is not left behind. As we have advised previously, public schools will begin classes with students remaining at home and receiving the teaching and learning experience in a number of different ways. The first approach is online through the Google Learning Management System, or LMS. We have been creating the email addresses for students and teachers, and we already note that almost 200,000 students have already logged in to become more familiar with the learning management system. The second approach will be broadcasting lessons on dedicated channels on TVJ, Ready TV, and CVM, the cable networks and radio stations. The national schedule has been sent to schools, and this will also be published on our website, on all the social media platforms, so that our students can know precisely at what time their classes will be on. The third approach is for the ministry to provide learning kits for students to utilize along with their textbooks and worksheets at home. The textbooks and workbooks will be available through the schools for pickup during the first week of the remote learning. Every student will have the government issued textbooks and worksheets where applicable. For those students who live in deep rural parts of Jamaica, and have to depend on the printed materials only, there will be special worksheets and practice books that will be printed and distributed to these students through their schools. Under the National Textbook Loan Scheme and the Primary Textbook Program, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information is providing educational resources to include electronic resources such as apps at a cost of approximately $826 million. Let me reassure you that the ministry has been providing the full complement of textbooks needed by the schools for this term. For the lower primary level grades one to three, the usual workbooks are being provided for integrated studies and mathematics. For the first time, the ministry will provide workbooks for the upper primary level at grades five and six. This initiative will assist in alleviating the financial challenges being faced by parents during this COVID-19 pandemic. At the secondary level, grades 7 to 11, adequate resources including textbooks, e-books, and other e-content will be provided for the various subject areas. 38,000 e-books are being procured in the sciences, languages, business, and accounts. Students will receive their access code for the e-books. E-learning has started the distribution of tablets to schools, and this will continue throughout the term. 
Schools will advise those parents with students on PATH when to pick up tablets for their children. It must be noted as well that over a thousand tablets have already been distributed to special needs students and other schools. Schools were advised additionally to distribute the existing 18,000 tablets that were already provided to schools before the pandemic. For non-PATH needy families, the ministry will make available a subsidy of $20,000 to 36,000 students towards the purchase of a tablet or laptop. There will be a registration process and criteria for the selection of the 36,000 students. We will announce the start date for the registration process. To help us on the journey, the ministry is in talks with the PSOJ to launch a one laptop or tablet per student initiative. We're calling on corporate Jamaica, NGOs, faith-based institutions, international development partners, private individuals, and the diaspora to help us equip our students to be able to access online education. At the tertiary level, institutions can make their own arrangements guided by the Disaster Risk Management Act. Daycare centers can be opened as defined by the Disaster Risk Management Act as well. Other early childhood institutions will follow the directives given for primary and secondary schools. We will continue to provide support for our independent and private schools. All basic schools and independent or private schools will be provided with access at no cost to the G Suite learning management system. These schools will also be provided with a selected number of laptops or tablets for needy students as identified and based on availability of funds. We're also sharing a schedule for television and radio, as well as the approach being used for the distribution of worksheets for those without internet access. In the area of psychosocial support, the ministry has prioritized psychosocial programs for the first three days of school. This is to ensure that the students are in the right state of mind for the academic activities. As you are aware, the students have been out of school in excess of six months, occasioned by the pandemic, and during this time would have been affected by the lack of interactions with their peers and teachers. They would have been affected by the changes in their routines. Some children have had to relocate and we have had to do transfers for these students. We've even had recent cases of suicide and some students and parents would have lost family members among other disruptions in their families. The psychosocial sessions will seek to address their mental health and well-being, improve their capacity to cope with the emotional challenges and will help to mitigate the impact of the stresses in their environment. All school leaders are urged to make this a priority in the reopening and weekly activities through this academic year. The ministry, in collaboration with the guidance counselors at the school level and clinical service providers, will provide counseling psychosocial and empowerment sessions for the students, staff, and parents. A psychosocial plan to guide interventions at the school level for the first term of the new school year has been developed. Guidance counselors will be supported to develop and implement psychosocial plans at the school level, and the ministry's team will monitor the process for greater impact. All schools are expected to implement a psychosocial plan. Telecounseling will continue in collaboration with the Child Guidance Clinic supported by UNICEF. Students who were referred to the Child Guidance Clinic will continue to benefit from ongoing counseling, although they're not in school. Of note, 35 psychosocial helplines for parents are available across all seven regions 
through the efforts of the National Parenting Support Commission in collaboration with UNICEF, Victoria Mutual Foundation, and Fight for Peace. In the area of nutritional support, we understand the need for ensuring proper nutritional support during this period. So despite not being in school, the government is committed to providing nutritional support for our needy students. Nutrition Products Limited will be delivering baked products, milk and water to parents who have children who are in need. These can be picked up at schools as of tomorrow. In addition, funds for lunch will be paid to the accounts of parents with students on path, and this will be done through the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. Parents and students, as you look forward to tomorrow, October 5, let me remind you of what will take place during the first week of school. On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, psychosocial sessions will air on television, cable, and radio, and available on Television Jamaica YouTube, onespotmedia.com, and one spot extra one and two as well as ready tv in addition hits 92 fm music 99 fm power 106 love 101 styles fm among others will broadcast at different times during the day while this is happening students as directed by their school administrators will pick up their textbooks and other learning material Students will be guided in terms of the approaches that schools will be using for different grades to access lessons. Please note that there is no need to turn up to schools unless so directed, as schools have worked out a plan to ensure that all students can receive information on how to proceed. Parents will need to get in touch with their schools if you need additional information. The Ministry has improved its communication strategy and you can now contact us at the following three numbers. 876-618-3730 876-618-6705 876-618-6713 We're happy to say as well, our call center is now up and running to respond to your calls. Additionally, we've made available an email address at educate at educate.gov.jm for back to school queries. This has been created and already we're getting queries and those are being responded to. A back to school website or landing page has been created, which is now live. This is called educate.gov.jm. The page will direct parents, teachers, and students to the relevant documents and resources for online or distance learning. And this is also zero rated, meaning you do not have to have a data plan to access it. As I close, let me express sincere thanks to the many stakeholders, parents, teachers and principals for all that you do each and every day as we work together for the safety and success of our children this school year and well into the future. Despite the obvious challenges brought on by COVID-19, we will be able to have a good year of teaching and learning in the virtual and remote environment. It is my sincere honor and privilege to serve as your Minister of Education, Youth and Information. Together, I know we will make this school year one of growth and achievement for all our children. God bless you all, and God bless Jamaica, land we love. 